Just writing my little tax ID, my date of birth, my loyalty oath. Yes, I am very loyal. And presto, voted. What are you doing? I'm voting. It is a most important thing in our democracy because people aren't smart enough to run their own lives, so we have voting, where people vote on how to run the lives of others. Well, that sounds a bit contradictory. Who came up with this idea? The Greeks did. The Greeks were a wonderful people with advances in mathematics and general philosophy. Though oddly there weren't many industrial or agricultural advances. I wonder why. Who the heck is that? I'm the enforcer. He's the enforcer. He's here to enforce the election results. Oh! Pow! I don't think I like democracy. Wow, you're really authoritarian. You don't want the people to have a voice. I'm not sure what smacking me with a hammer to collect my stars has to do with giving people a voice. In fact, it seems like you're just using democracy as an excuse to take my stars. Well, I'm sorry, but you voted, so you endorsed the system. I didn't vote. Well, then you can't complain. What? Well, voted. Oh! Pow! Well, voted. Oh! Pow! Enough! I am not letting you hit me on the head with a hammer anymore. Francine, no more voting. What? It's my constitutional right to vote. Why don't you just leave me alone? I'll vote, and you'll not vote. It's, it's not a problem. I'll leave you alone, you leave me alone. No, I would love to live and let live. That's what we were doing before voting, but you are not giving me that option. Democracy is barbaric, primitive, and necessarily caters to the least common denominator, and all that ends up happening is that poor people vote themselves my stars, and rich people vote themselves regulation to prevent me from ever competing with them. It's two heads against the middle, I tell ya. It's a war against the middle class. Oh, shut up! Never in my life have I heard such a greedy, selfish, racist... <coughs> I can't even think of words to describe my anger at your teabagger bullshit. You have no idea how angry I am. If we're up to people like you, Dreamland would be the way it was back in the 1900s. That's terrible. We wouldn't have telephones, television, internet, antibiotics. People would routinely die of diseases that are easily cured today, like pneumonia, and there'd be no air travel. All of those technological inventions that make the world today what it is wouldn't have come about without democracy. Just look at the Greeks. Oh wait, 